Celestial Grove. Shadow over Silverdale will be a single-player 3D horse riding game set before Secrets of Silverdale and will be meant as the first entry in the series, but not a direct prequel due to a plan for future games in the series. It will be story-based and completely free roam with lots of different competitions, activities, and management. Mainly inspired by Star Stable Autumn Riders 2008, as well as games like Riding Club Championships, Belisara, Horse Tales, Emerald Valley Ranch, My Riding Stables, Life with Horses, Ranch of Rivershine, Star Stable Online, 2011-2016. It is a project only tied to the MMORPG project Secrets of Silverdale by happening in the same world with the same characters, but still being set two years before Secrets of Silverdale. The story and environment will have darker elements meant to showcase why, instead of being a game targeted towards children, it is targeted towards teenagers aged 14 years or older. The player experience, riding and competition, skill-based riding mechanics for various disciplines, training sessions to improve rider and horse skills, local competitions to gain experience and reputation, preparation for the Cavaliata event, winter-themed challenges, Competition types, cross country, show jumping, equine biathlon, harmony trials, hunter trials, time management, day-night cycle with scheduled activities, seasonal changes affecting gameplay and story progression, balancing time between management, training, and story events. Immersive storytelling engages players with a compelling narrative about reviving an abandoned equestrian center, creates emotional connections with characters and horses through interactive dialogue and bonding activities. Learning Curve. Gradual introduction of gameplay mechanics, tutorials and in-game guides for various aspects of horse care and riding. Deep attachment to horses. Horse attachment. Changing horses often will result in lack of an attachment, and Emily will not care about horse status. Each horse has its own personality and hidden traits. To unlock those traits and effectively train the horse, the player will have to take care of their horse regularly and feed them different foods to find out their likes and dislikes. Emotional responses. Have horses react to the player's actions, environment, and events in the game world with appropriate animations and sounds? Visual feedback. Show visible changes in the horse's appearance and behavior as the bond grows stronger, such as more relaxed posture or affectionate gestures towards the player. Examples. Greeting behaviors, approaching the player when near. Gentle nudging or nuzzling of the player's character. Soft nickering or whinnying when the player comes into view. Emotional engagement. Player character growth. Throughout the story, Emily will begin as double-faced, putting up a fake identity of an attractive, happy, and cocky city girl while shy in reality, and will find solace in her experiences. This will lead to her learning that she doesn't have to pretend to be somebody she isn't. She will begin to accept herself for who she is, accept her role as a deity, lead the Silverdale Equestrian Center to a thriving future, and become a better version of herself. Core Gameplay Loop Open World Exploration Free Riding Players can explore the area freely once they obtain their first horse and complete the tutorial. Horse care and training. Players can train their horses and increase their rider skills using available facilities. Horse care can be performed in designated areas such as stables or shelters. Training will focus on cross country in the MVP demo build. Money management. You have to manage your money very carefully. You will need $10,000 minimum by winter to be able to go on to the Cavaliata. Repairs around the equestrian center will be expensive, but required in order to progress through the game. You earn money through quests, competitions, hosting local events at the Silverdale Equestrian Center, selling sand from Crystal Desert Mountains to the Glassmaker in Silverdale Village, and accepting guests at the Silverdale Equestrian Center. Story Quests. The demo will feature five beginner quests serving as a tutorial and introduction to the game. Purchasing and selling horses. After completing the tutorial, players can buy and sell horses at auctions. Horses must be trained to at least 10% in a specific discipline, e.g. show jumping, before they can be sold. Player progression system. Players level up and gain experience points, XP, through various activities, 
unlocking new skills and abilities. Be able to go on to the Cavalliata. Repairs around the Equestrian Center will be expensive, but required in order to progress through the game. You earn money through quests, competitions, hosting local events at the Silverdale Equestrian Center, selling sand from Crystal Desert Mountains to the Glassmaker in Silverdale Village, and accepting guests at the Silverdale Equestrian Center. Story Quests. The demo will feature five beginner quests serving as a tutorial and introduction to the game. Purchasing and Selling Horses. After completing the tutorial, players can buy and sell horses at auctions. Horses must be trained to at least 10% in a specific discipline, e.g. show jumping, before they can be sold. Player Progression System. Players level up and gain experience points, XP, through various activities, unlocking new skills and abilities. Work for this game is being paid for out of pocket. I alone am funding this game's development. This game isn't meant to compete with Star Stable Online. It is not an MMORPG. A lot of passion and time is going into this game project, and it has been started in December 2023, and the team who has previously come together for Secrets of Silverdale has not come forward to work on this new project. The main character of the game is Emily Bondevic, a character who has been created nearly a decade ago. This character is 18 years old. There will not be much public discussion about this project due to the slow development progress. Marketing for the game will start in the third or fourth quarter of 2024, and depending on acquired interest, it may or may not increase the further development speed. Demo or prototype for marketing purposes is planned to be ready in the fourth quarter of 2024. Whole game development process will vary depending on the final scope based on funding.